Hey guys, Caleb Brown, New Planner Recruiting here. Hope you are doing well. Uh, this week I want to talk a little bit about some things to think about if you're looking to make the transition from the accounting, the CPA world to financial planning. Okay, so the first thing is you, you need, if you're not a part of AICPA already, you need to be and you need to get involved in their personal financial planning section because there's a lot of people who have already taken the path that you're about to take, pivoting from accounting, tax prep, audit, whatever it is, into financial planning. So you need to connect with those people. That's a natural network. Also, the Financial Planning Association and then NAPFA, National Association of Personal Financial Advisors. So you need to make sure you're a member of those three organizations and, and participating. But go, go get your CFP if you're not. If you're a CPA, you have the ability to challenge the CFP exam or you can also go through the coursework. I would suggest going through the coursework. That's a full immersion. You're going to learn more. It shows potential employers that you're serious. If you challenge the, you can you know go take the the uh, case study class and then take the exam and you can most most CPAs pass it with a review course so you can do that, um, but but again you're you're bypassing the coursework so I would tell you to to try to go learn as much as you can about some of these additional topics because this is a different world if you've been doing accounting or audit or whatever if the, if the client calls. They're going to ask about their taxes. They're going to ask about their, you know, their P and L or their QuickBooks, or they're going to ask about their audit. If you're holding yourself out as a comprehensive CFP, the client calls. You don't know what they're going to ask. You've got to be ready for a number of things they can bring up. Okay, and sometimes that's a harder, uh, more difficult mindset shift. Uh, get your CFP. If you're already a CPA, then you can petition the AICPA uh, for the PFS credential. So I would encourage, so that's the ultimate goal if you're already a CPA, CFP, PFS. So that will be a solid slate of designations. You're going to have to learn how to get comfortable with the gray areas. In accounting and in tax, black and white, private letter ruling, case study, precedents, hey, here's, here's what you do. you got to follow the law. It's not like that in financial planning. You get six financial planners up there, give them a case study, they're all going to come back with six different recommendations. <laughs> okay, So it's not black and white. Get comfortable with that. And also, too, the, if you're a tax accountant, I mean, you, you client uploads some stuff, you put it in a software program, you generate their return, and there's not a lot of you know, consultative usually there. There should be, I think, but there's not a lot. It's more transactional. You're gonna have to get comfortable with communicating these more complicated ideas and compl complex ideas and strategies to get the client to take action. So get com selling them on your ideas, why they should take your advice. Understand that you're also there to create value for the client. You know, maybe in your prior world in the accounting, you were there to Keep people, you know, keep the company from getting in sued or getting in trouble, you know, for compliance sake. Now you're creating value for this this family or this or, or this business. Uh, and, and then lastly, I think just trying to find recruiting firms that special like our firm that specialize in fee only financial planning, salaried positions. You know, you're probably coming from a salaried situation where you may not want to have to go out and sell and get a bunch of business, and that's kind of who we recruit for. Robert Half. Nothing against them, love them, but that's not what their focus is. That might be how you got your accounting job, but they're focused on finance jobs, not necessarily the niche of fee-only financial planning. You're going to do great. People that come from the accounting, the CPA world background, they make great financial planners. You are too. You're going to be great. See you next time. Bye-bye.